Here are three neuroscience fact reasons why vision doesn't automatically translate into embodiment. Most people assume that if they can visualize their future self clearly, that version will eventually become real. But neuroscience tells us that clarity alone doesn't create identity, it creates possibility. What determines embodiment is whether your system believes it is safe to become that version. The first reason is that future self simulation lives in the prefrontal cortex, while behavior is anchored in the limbic system. You can see it, feel it, even articulate the future you want. But if your emotional brain still associates that version with threat, rejection, or failure, the system won't move, it will delay. Not because you're lazy, but because your wiring doesn't match your vision. The second is that imagined future states compete with embodied past states. If your body has been trained to perform, to anticipate rejection, or to minimize visibility, then the future self you're reaching for feels incompatible with your current posture. The dissonance is real, not in belief, but in physiology. And third, repetition without emotional reinforcement won't stick. Cognitive rehearsal of future identity must be paired with present moment decisions that prove to the system that you can hold success without collapse, honesty without rupture, and clarity without abandonment. So no, you're not failing to become your future self. You're just attempting to overlay a coherent vision onto an incoherent system. And the shift doesn't begin in imagination, it begins in regulation.